The very first person I went to was the GP at the university clinic. I had my own GP, but didn't feel comfortable having that conversation with them. It wasn't that uh, my, my regular GP didn't work out. I think I was worried that she might tell my parents because I didn't know that she actually couldn't do that. I found a, a GP that's in a queer specific service um, and that is amazing for me because I can be like completely open about my experiences as a queer person and not have any fear of any sort of judgment or stigma. My experiences with finding the right general practitioner has been a bit of mixed. Um, initially I quite struggled um, finding someone who can resonate with me as a young person and understand my cultural background. But over time, seeing two, three, four different um, GPs, I've landed on one which I feel very comfortable with. I feel like it's a safe space and they understand my lived experience as much as I understand their lived experience. We had a good GP who was able to um, be involved from the, from the get go and um, coordinate with the different health professionals from the hospital and, or, and the outpatient ones. I'd encourage people if you uh, have a new medication, if you're in, with the GP when they're prescribing it to you, ask questions because it's really important that you feel comfortable with the medication that you're after, that you're being prescribed. And when you're in the pharmacist's office, uh, make sure you ask lots of questions about how you should take the medication because certain medications must be taken at a certain time, certain frequency, and you don't want to stop taking those suddenly. I didn't really know that I could talk to pharmacists um, about my medications, but now that I know that they're actually there to, to help me and give me information, if I do have a question, I'll, I'll just ask it. And some of them have been really great and really supported me to understand what it was that I was taking.